Um, why are you arguing that Ireland should leave the single market and the customs union? Well, <coughs> I'm arguing because circumstances has changed. Um, Ireland, um, in general, was uh, wanted the United Kingdom to stay inside the, the EU, but now that it's, it's changed and the e and UK are certainly leaving the EU and it looks like they're leaving the single market and the customs union, we have to take stock of our position and decide whether our best course is to stick with the remaining 26 or to look at the whole issue of maintaining our, our, our and uh, free trade mm. with the United Kingdom and maybe seeking a new arrangement with the rest of the EU, maybe an EFTA type arrangement. But, you know, what is the, what is the best course of action for us? Right. But why would Ireland prioritise the UK with a population of 65 million people over 26 other member states with almost 500 million people? Because because um, we have much greater connections with uh, the UK. In a poll in Dublin, uh, one of the newspapers said, some of the business post, 56% of the people in, uh, in Ireland polled said that they felt their relationship with the United Kingdom was more important than its relationship with the rest of Europe. Ireland and Britain have, have so many connections together that it is by far and away our most important bilateral relationship. So we've got to look at if we break that relationship as part of the EU, what do we get on the other side? The EU is moving in a direction which we don't particularly like. Uh, Emmanuel Macron has particularly picked out Ireland as, as his target in terms of trying to uh, get a consolidated corporation tax rate, a common consolidated tax rate across Europe. There's huge pressures coming on Ireland now to, uh, to raise its tax rates and our biggest ally in doing that, along with the Netherlands, has been the United Kingdom. We're going to find it very, very difficult to maintain that type of relationship that we had in the past without the United Kingdom. Yeah,